Sharks are very important to the marine ecosystems in terms of it being an apex predator and controlling populations of other fish below the food chain. But we have to remember that sharks can play as an ambassador and somewhat of a charismatic species for an ecosystem as well. Since Rajampat became a shark and ray sanctuary, you've definitely seen a number of species rebounded in population, for example, black tip and white tips. They're doing very well in areas where it's very, really fully protected. But other species like bow mouse guitarfish, zebra shark, uh, even the pelagic sharks such as tiger shark, you haven't seen that much yet. So I think that's where reef shark can come into play. If we already done all the marine patrol and make sure that this area is well protected. Why don't we step into another level to join this project? And this is actually could be the best environment for this project to start in the first place. For a conservation translocation, IUCN actually has a few criteria that we need to achieve one of which is for an area to be repopulated again through conservation translocation. It needs for the initial threat that actually caused the decline of the population to be eliminated or largely eliminated. Uh, another one would be the post-release monitoring. So we cannot just release a group of animals back to the wild without actually monitoring its progress, its growth, or if it's actually surviving. So having a post-release monitoring protocol. The first time I saw Mali, she was actually still an egg. And I think it was really exciting because I picked her up at the airport with the team. Uh, and then I took her to Jakarta Aquarium for her quarantine before finally sending her off to the airport. And ever since, I've not seen her until this week. And it's been great to see her grow so big and healthy. She was in the egg for one and a half months and I've been taking care of her every day until she hatched in January and uh, it felt very exciting because everyone was here. When Molly was big enough, she was ready to be moved to the sea pen and then in the sea pen we gave her food three times to four times a day but we also encouraged her to hunt for her own food and in the sea pens, she seemed very happy because there were so many fishes inside. It's important for Mali to be in the sea pen at an early stage because it would make her adapt with the environment, with the real environment, to see other fishes, to live in her real environment with reef, with sand, and also to hunt for her own food. So specifically for the release in missile, we are lucky that we're already in a very marine protected area that's well enforced, so we can actually release the sharks straight away at where they're born and raised. So during Mali's release day, we need to get her measurement, her blood samples and her cloacal samples, and also before release, we need to, to feed her enough. On the release day, it it's actually mixed emotions because I had to balance the emotions of letting her go, which is sad, but also happy for Molly. But also we had challenges with the weather, so it was very overwhelming. Honestly, I was very, very nervous for this release um, because we have such few pups so far. They're so precious at this point. Luckily enough, Molly has been staying around the lagoon all night long. Um, we've been moving from land between the bay just to see where it's going and we've been picking her up uh, for the last 20 hours still. Um, but soon we'll be actually uh, downloading all the receivers that's around the island and see if she has made any further movement that's outside of this bay. We're actually at a very critical point of the project right now that we have everything set up. All we need right now is actually more eggs and yeah, let's see how it goes. This is, 
this is a this is foolproof protocol now. All we need to do is repeat it for the next five to ten years. I believe that what we're doing here this week is going to be the foundation of the STAR project in the time to come, especially in terms of releasing baby sharks here in Misol. So having seen how it goes so far, I'm super confident of the ReShark initiative, seeing how different stakeholders globally can band together for a single species recovery is honestly so inspiring. And doing this within a mere three years is amazing. And I hope it will be an inspiration for everywhere else on the planet that, you know, sometimes nature needs people and we can actually do great things if we uh, collaborate together. <laughs>